I get in these moments where I feel like I should be talking to the whole species. And I don't know if you do that. And, and one day, there's this belief that I will be talking to the whole species. <laughs> and, and I know that's crazy. And I know maybe two, three, four, or five people might watch this video. But I find that there is a... Uh, if anyone has had an experience of God consciousness, where you've had some sort of a psychedelic experience and you communicated with something much bigger than you. You, you. you had an experience of, let's say, God consciousness. I don't know if anyone has had that, but I'm just going to share something with you. When you've had that, because I think every human being has that ability You know, it's it's so overwhelming. It's so utterly, you know, you can <laughs> you sort of like thinking about God and you're learning about God and you're reading about God and you're hearing about God and you're going to workshops about God and you're, you just keep, you know, whatever is this God thing, right? And for the most part, at least for me, there's the... Um, reading about it and thinking about it and, and sort of carrying on your life. And in this mind, you have this sort of like thinking thing going on. And I'm, you know, for most of my life, like when I, when I was about 20, I started, let's say, seeking God. I, 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 before that, I had no God, no spiritual life, no religion. It, it didn't even enter into my mind. And then in my 20s, I was looking, I, you know, I read some books and and whatever i was researching something was telling me that you know something is there there is this god thing or being or whatever it is and you're supposed to look for it and if you look for it you got to do certain things and there are certain prophets or whoever different people buddha or jesus or whoever is saying he you know you got to do it this way and if you do it this way then you're going to get this access and then you take some psychedelics and then you take some mushrooms and then you, you, you do LSD or you take MDMA and you start to experience different states of consciousness and you start to feel differently and you, you see that your mind is not quite what you think it is because when you're on these hallucinogens, you see things that you normally wouldn't see. You feel things you wouldn't normally see. And they're different than kind of like the drugs that doctors are giving you for things. So I experimented a bit with that. And each of the, I call, you know, I think they should be called medicines, gives a sort of doorway into a, a type of state of consciousness. I mean, you can call it God, but it's, it's, it's like there's a freaking huge universe. Whatever is out there is massive. It's beyond what our minds can conceive of. And when you tap into these other dimensions, you see things, experience things that you don't like read about in books and you don't see other people talking about. You just there's this inner journey that occurs and you know people on news and people in school and people around don't usually talk about it because drugs are like let's say bad and there's a, a lot of uh, societal interpretation of drugs as being horrible now if someone's on heroin and they're on the street corner and they've been you know, fucked up for three years i can i can see drugs being pretty fucking horrible for that person but this is different right this is this is experimentation that shamans and wizards and whatever names you want to call them have been using to induce state consciousness changes in order to explore and carlos castaneda and uh, other people that you know of 
probably around you have been exploring and I'm one of them. And then when, when you have a sort of like, let's say God consciousness experience, it, it's utterly changing. Like you can't go back to, it's like Neo, you can't go back into normal life and go, oh, everything's the same because something has occurred. Something woke you up. Something just was so intense that you saw something that changes your normal life. And that's what's occurring all across the planet right now. And if you have a parent and you have kids and you're worrying about drugs and you're worrying about what they're doing, you know, you have to take into account that there's a, there's a, there's a lot of things going on in terms of, let's say, political mechanisms around the planet that want humans to believe or think a certain thing. And if you, if you stay within the, those beliefs, <clears throat> then everything's gonna be fine. But if you go outside of those beliefs, well now, now you're gonna be a problem. So the way the schools have been set up on the planet and the way that the belief systems and everything that has been set up is generally there's some sort of <clears throat> scamming going on to control humans to be a certain way and that way is to kind of keep them away from the true spirituality of being able to connect into this larger universe and some people do it without drugs right they don't need the drugs to go do it they just they're always tapped in they may be seeing angels they may be it, it, it's it's, it's hard to say what they could be doing because it could be anything. I don't want to say that anything is a certain way or not a certain way. I've just experienced certain things where that's all I know. I just know my experience. This is what I experienced, but I don't necessarily tell people because people can only handle so much. You know, people kind of like a whatever beliefs are, they have this little world, they do their little thing, and then that's all they want. That's all they can have. They don't want anything more. And so, if you're exploring in the spiritual realms, really, you know, it, it, you're usually on your own because if you go inside, it's an internal journey. No one else can kind of come with you. You're, you, you go inside and then you journey. And my experience with the psychedelics has opened me up to an incredible world that is different from the world as we know as physical existence. But when you go in there, you can leave your body and you can participate in this other world, other worlds. And, and I'm not saying I know everything about it and I'm not saying I've got some credentials to talk about all I know is my own experience all I know is what happens to me inside when I do these psychedelics now getting back to the God consciousness thing and if you're listening <laughs> you either don't believe and you think I'm a nutball and what the fuck I'm, you know, why would I listen to this guy or you had a similar experience you've had some experience and you know you <laughs> I know what you're talking about know what you're talking about and so you have to kind of come to terms with it because when you come back into the physical existence after having some incredible experience you know the this world is set up in a kind of weird way and it doesn't either want to acknowledge that you or me or anyone has experienced these things it says you're wrong put you in jail or any of the fucking nutball things they do um, but they, they're not general people aren't generally willing to explore or to to just go okay you know, tell me what happened and 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 let you share your experience with it now i know in the younger generations that people are sharing and they are exploring but it, it seems 
at least from what I've seen. I don't know how it is out there anywhere else, but the people who are able to do this journeying, then they kind of go crazy a bit. And they don't know how to make a, a living in the regular world. And they don't know how to interact with the rest of the people. And that's that's very harsh because these people can be very beautiful people. They're, they're, they're maybe a little bit more sensitive. They're, they're maybe a little bit different. But you know, when they went into school, they you know, they just don't fit because you know the human spirit can't fit into a school curriculum. And the way schools are set up, you know, to me, they're more government indoctrination centers to have you think a certain way, but they're, they're not really set up to give the best learning environment for a child. Like I think uh, Joseph Chilton Pierce figured it out. There's different, you know, people all across the planet who figured it out, where there, there's much different ways to have schools, much different ways to look at our children. And, and, and I think fundamentally that's what we have to do right now. We have to look at how we treat our children because these children are not the same as you. They're coming in very advanced souls. They're coming in and they, they can't and don't want to participate in non-loving things. They're loving beings. Loving beings want to be loved and want to love. And if you bring them into horrendous, violent, you know, shitty situations, they're going to go freaking nuts, right? So as a parent, I, I don't know, I, this one I kind of want to say, but I mean, but getting back to sort of God realization where, you know, from what I understand, most people don't experience it. And even though they may believe in God or something, they, they've never, if, if you never felt the full presence of, uh, I don't know, it's a higher being or God or Jesus, whatever. But when you feel, a pre when, when it happens to you, you're just, you don't exist anymore. You you just don't, um, you sort of get this instant realization that fades afterwards, but in the moment, nothing that we're striving for seems to have any meaning. I mean, it's, it's like if, if this exists, this is so much more than everything else. But the thing is, it fades. It fades and then we come back to the normal world. And then you gotta kind of participate in what's happening in, in the society as it is is at a very kind of low level. You know, if we're still hurting people intentionally, if we're still you know, ravaging the planet, we're still hurting animals, we're still killing whales and dolphins, and cutting down old growth trees, like this stuff is, is so utterly stupid and wrong. And all the movies about the wars and the glorification of the war. And, you know, at the higher level, that stuff doesn't exist. You know, it's not about taking over or battling or killing anything. It's about more and more understanding of the higher aspects of life. So, You know, what do you do? You know, in my opinion, we need to change things, right? We need to make things better. We, may, we, we need to use the intelligence of what we have to make the lives better for everybody. And that can happen if those ones that are scamming everybody would just stop and either we're going through some sort of evolution where we're getting help from above or around or like the galactic uh, uh, entities start to help us to get rid of these dark forces or um, they don't and we have to do it and we do it 
or we don't and we just get into a more subjugated state. I mean, I'd like to think that this is the, the, the beginning of, of the end in a good way, the end of the old system and their control mechanisms and they are just actually not allowed here anymore. We don't have to do anything. They just kind of are taken somewhere else where they, they can do whatever they want to do, where you know, if they want to go fight, kill and torture and do these horrible things to other entities, well, do it in that universe you know, where everyone's doing it and that's your thing. But I, I don't want to do that. And I think most humans don't want to do that. And as a galactic, you know, if there's a galaxy out there or whatever's out there, they're looking at us. And they're, they're communicating with some people. And they're perhaps showing us there's a different way where they're offering perhaps help. And that's the transition I think our species is going through. But maybe not. I mean, it's very difficult to discern what is happening. I mean, I'm just a freaking cell in the mind of God. What do I know? I mean, I have this physical existence and I walk around, stumble about, do whatever I do, but I realize that I'm just one person, one individual. But because of this, because of the ability of you to listen to me, to make a video, and now you can listen and go, okay, well, these things, saying things have been different. I know I'm just kind of going on with Cam as you were listening, but if you are listening, you know, the only point if I could make, if, if you don't believe there's a God, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying there is, and you have a relationship with that God. And you have to kind of at some point do the things necessary to communicate or open up to get to the point where you're communicating. Now, if you don't do that, you know, you're just going to live your life the way you do, and that's fine. Um, but if, you're, <coughs> if your purpose, if our purpose here is to spiritually progress, which I think it is, then you miss the boat. You just have a lifetime, boom, done. And you're kind of like, you just keep having these lifetimes over and over again until you realize the point of why you're here. And then you take the steps necessary to clear your karma, to do your healing, to get rid of all the blocks that stop you from full sort of God realization in every moment. And then you're like a super being, right? But I'm, you know, I'm a human like you, and uh, I have to, you know, I, I got a lot to work on, and, but some things are kind of obvious, maybe not.